famous hypersonic missile versus F-22 Raptor, which is the toughest. The Eurasian Times recently reported that China is developing a heat-seeking hypersonic missile capable of hitting cars moving at five times the speed of sound. The research team, led by Yang Zhou Gang of the PLA Rocket Force University of Engineering in Shen, claims to have made important progress in overcoming a major difficulty with hypersonic missiles that show targets moving at high speeds. However, a more worrying precedent is China's claim of the ability to accurately strike the U.S. Air Force's F-22 stealth aircraft with hypersonic missiles. In January this year, Chinese scientists claim they had produced a next-generation hypersonic weapon with advances in infrared tracking that the U.S. military may not have until 2035. Then it can be concluded that China will be able to fire hypersonic missiles and destroy targets in enemy countries at super-long ranges with absolute precision. If China's claim is true, it could cause widespread concern in the U.S., as it is very difficult to intercept hypersonic missiles due to their unpredictable path, high speed, and use of re-entry vehicles. Chinese experts later stated that its hypersonic missiles can hit almost any target with incredible accuracy and speed, including stealth aircraft, ships and even vehicles moving on the road, thanks to its heat-seeking capabilities. According to the South China Morning Post, a Chinese military specialist previously stated that a hypersonic surface-to-air missile can catch up and destroy an F-22, Raptor, in seconds if it fires a missile or drops a bomb at close range. According to the U.S. Air Force, heat-seeking missiles shot down more than 90% of all aircraft lost in the 1980s, and stealth fighters such as the F-22 can easily become targets for hypersonic missiles because the coating material easily heats up while flying. This is especially concerning against the backdrop of frequent engagements between the Chinese and U.S. militaries in the Indo-Pacific region.